Russian hackers are blamed for breaking into the Democratic National Committee and the Clinton campaign chairman's computers. A Kremlin-backed cyber team known as Fancy Bear has also gone after targets in Europe and Russia. Charlie Daggett have followed the hacking trail through Prague to Moscow. Investigators at a website critical of Russia's president have come under attack. It was after they blamed Russian separatists in Ukraine for the shootdown of the Malaysian passenger plane that the investigative website called Bellingcat came under attack itself from Russian hackers. In Prague, we met one of the men behind those damning reports, analyst Eric Toller. They're called spear phishing emails. You get these fake emails and they look like they're from Google or whatever. You click them and they steal your information, right? The same stuff is used against the Democratic National Committee. Toller showed us the very spear phishing emails he was still getting, and they looked like the real deal. And it doesn't say superbadrussiansite.com, right? It's this tiny URL. It looks totally innocuous. You have no idea what's behind it. Well, Toller didn't yeah, take all, the bait, but instead different. sent the suspect emails to U.S. cybersecurity company Threat Connect. Investigators there found that the Russian hacking group Fancy Bear had used the same spear phishing technique against Bellingcat as it did to attack the DNC and Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta and traced most back to the same email service headquartered in Moscow. U.S. investigators across the board all agree that the hacks originated from Russia. What's less clear is whether the order for the series of attacks came from the highest level. So about that but a because, few uh, embarrassing uh, emails uh, is nothing compared to the cyber attacks almost, uh, unleashed on Ruslan Lviv. So I started receiving uh, phone calls uh, with death threats. Uh, you, you got phone calls with death yes, threats? Yes, many of these. As Bellingcat's Russian contributor, he has reason to worry. After his reports exposed high-level government deception, hackers hijacked his online accounts, posting personal photographs, a copy of his passport, even his home address and phone number. They intercepted his cell phone text messages and password reset codes, too. I, I am absolutely sure that it was a Russian state-sponsored attack. No doubt. No doubt. Who would have these sort of capabilities? Uh, Russian Secret Service uh, have uh, some kind of backdoor for every uh, mobile provider or internet provider. It's a uh, Russian law to install such backdoor for Russian secret services. It's Russian law. Yes. And when you accuse the very highest levels in the Russian government for hacking you. But I, I'm very worried about lives of uh, my relatives. You can't exactly turn to the police for help. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, Moscow. Uh, you know, the U.S. has said it's going to respond, and there's real worry about some kind of escalating mm -hmm. uh, cyber hacking and cyber mm -hmm. attacks. Yeah, I mean, I've talked to people who, who, this is the companies, this is their top priority in trying to block these types of attacks, which they believe are coming from the Russians. And it's scary yeah. when you hear the highest levels. What does that mean? That it's coming from the highest levels of the Russian government? Well, they say they would scary. not necessarily be doing this unless they thought they had a proof. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very scary stuff.